so far we have learnt how to convert direct to indirect speech. Now let's look at converting indirect to direct speech. To change from indirect to direct speech, always keep the rules of the direct speech in mind, but they need to be reversed, right? Uh, apart from that, what you have to remember is that when you use the reporting word say or say to in its correct tense, always make sure you're using the reporting word say or said to in its correct tense. Remove conjunctions that to, if or whether, etc. when you're changing the statement from its indirect tense to its direct tense, direct speech. Always remember that the direct speech will include quotation mark, question mark, exclamation and a full stop wherever necessary. All these need to be present in a direct sentence. Put a comma before the statement. Before the inverted commas begin, you have to put a comma. And the first word of the statement should always begin with a capital letter. While changing an indirect statement to a direct, change the past tense into present tense, especially when you are reporting verbs in its past tense. So when you are reporting verbs in the past tense, make sure that you change the past tense into present tense because direct speech is always being talked about in now, the present situation. Hence, it has to be in present tense. Convert the past perfect either into past tense or present perfect as appropriate. So past perfect should be changed to past tense or present perfect accordingly. Always be careful about the order of the words in the question. For example, he asked whether he is coming. So it will change to he said to him, are you coming? Okay, this table will help us understand, you know, how to find the kind of sentence. So, if the indirect speech, that statement has that, that means the direct sentence should be as a statement or a exclamatory sentence. If you have to or not to, that means the direct statement should be in its imperative form. If it's a request and has... To, it should begin with the imperative statements, especially the word please. If the indirect speech statement is uh, contains either if or whether, that means it is a interrogative sentence. You should have a helping verb, a subject and a main verb followed by the sentence. If these are all interrogative questions, right, in indirect form, to make it into direct form, you would use the appropriate questionable word, the WH question or the how question, followed by a helping verb, a subject and a main verb. So these are the rules that you need to keep in mind to convert indirect to direct speech. So the most important thing for you to remember is the rules to convert direct to indirect. If you remember them, apply them in there reverse order to convert indirect speech to direct speech. Let's look at the following statements and try and understand which of them are correct or not. So the first statement is this and among the next following two statements, try and analyze which is the correct one and which is the incorrect one. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes here and I'm going to run them through the slides. Once that is done, I'll give you the answers.
let's look at the statements so the first statement says the boy said i'm happy with my results so among these two which do you think would be the right answer would it be the first one the boy said that he is happy with his results or the boy said that he was happy with his results it will be the second one he was happy because this is in its present tense it has to be changed to past tense direct speech she said i have baked a cake she said that she baked a cake or she said that she had baked a cake it will be the second one she had baked a cake he said all people have equal rights what did we learn such statements generalized truths they need to be the same you cannot change them so it will be the second answer second statement he said that all people have equal rights let's look at the fourth statement roshni said i may meet him here so what will this become uh, may will become might so the answer is roshni said that she might meet him here fifth statement she says i will go to school tomorrow it will be she says because it is in its third person form it will be the same she says that she will go to school tomorrow sixth one he said she is coming this week to discuss this it will become she is she said that she was coming that week to discuss it seven he said to them will you come for dinner so this is a question mark so it will change to ask he asked them and then you can either use the conjunctions if or whether to join so it will be he asked them whether they would will become would they would come for dinner the teacher said be quiet and listen to my words the teacher ordered or the teacher urged that means requested accordingly them to be quiet and listen to his words last one the policeman inquired where we were going the policeman said because this is in its indirect form you are changing it so you cannot use the word inquired again and it needs to be in its inverted comma so you would say the policeman said where are you going so this concludes the topic direct and indirect speech